Bricks and Minifigs is your one-stop shop for all things LEGO. Hit the link below to find a store near you. Hey everyone, welcome to Beyond the Brick. This is Mike. Today we're doing a bit of a combination of two sets. The Desert Skiff and the Sarlacc Pit. And the Duel on Peridea from the Ahsoka Tano series. Now these two are kind of location based sets, one from the original trilogy and one from the newest Disney Plus line of content. So let's see how they fare kind of next to each other cause a lot of fans are really telling that these are overpriced and I kind of lean towards that opinion. Let's find out uh, what is the value in these sets. Hey, by the way, if you like the shirt I'm wearing, you can get yours today. These shirts are made in partnership between Beyond the Brick and Bricks and Minifix stores. So you can get those at participating Bricks and Minifix locations with all these cool logos and Bricks are my sport. And you can also order one online at the link in the description below. The Desert Skiff is an $80 set. That is a lot to ask for a small build like this. The Minifigs are there but do they hold much value we do have nin numb as a minifig for the 25th anniversary of star wars he's good the print is decent both sides actually nice vest there we have a custom uh, mold for the head for the alien that is looking pretty accurate so that might be the desirable minifigure for most fans acquiring this set definitely a selling point because the rest of the set doesn't sell itself very well the minifigure is again really detailed i like the dual molding on the head and there's just like so much good detail on the fig it's good that lego is including these more obscure more bizarre characters in this 25th anniversary sets it's kind of inconsistent some sets do get them some sets don't not sure if there's any rule to it but this is it and i'm afraid that lego kind of looked at it and thought that would be a good idea to include it here to just provide a little bit more value for that high price tag the disguised lando carlisian is gonna be a fan favorite not the first time this character appeared he's looking decent has two face expressions good uh, printing for that armor comes with a very unique helmet as this outfit goes and overall he might be next to Nin Numb, the best addition to this set I'm not exactly sure if he's exclusive now Luke, Chewie and Han are your usual trio in this combination uh, Han and Chewie are getting the handcuffs for the scene as they are prisoners Luke has a decent outfit non-exclusive I believe correct me if I'm wrong the hair mold is being used from the 2024 look from the previous set so it's not new and Han also gets maybe a little bit updated print I'm not sure about that they do have two face expression except for Chewie of course overall the pack of minifigs here is kind of trying to sell the set for you but given that these characters were included in so many other Star Wars sets this is not very exciting except for the Nin Numb perhaps and of course I cannot forget about Boba Fett who was being eaten by that Sarlacc in the background non-exclusive Boba Fett however the most detailed Boba Fett except the lack of the cape maybe he is a good figure and there are cheaper ways to get him of course with that jetpack and the uh, printed arms and all that stuff but he's not exclusive so so you know and also remains kind of miscolored as people are really complaining about the lack of accuracy in the color of the helmet all right now on to the build where is that $80 going through in that set hard to kind of see that from the get-go i'm gonna start with the fact that the sarlacc pit it has a lot of bricks inside it's packed the whole design inside this thing under those elements of sand the teeth you see kind of on the edges of this thing it's a lot of bricks in there to get the design right the functions are very simple if not simplistic i would say because you just have these two levers in the back and it just goes like this this way and this way that's pretty much it there is no like rotation motion or anything like it it just goes this way plus the mouth of the sarlacc are those just two pieces that we are kind of used to that can hold a minifig just like that you know to chew on Boba Fett like was in the scene anyway this is where the most of the price goes into the set I believe there is some good techniques designed here uh, put here for for good use like the use of those claw pieces in this nougat color the teeth again are looking great with that kind of red gum of the monster the detail but other than that it's kind of cut off in the back with that flat surface which I don't really like and I believe it is the largest sarlacc we have ever gotten in lego so lego kind of did a more of a diorama of this display the other sarlaccs we got in smaller sets in the past there were not many too many of them but they were just like a small 
side build. This seems to be the main piece for this set, which is kind of interesting. But again, tell me in the comment section if you think having such a beefy uh, build for the dunes around the Sarlacc is justified. And uh, isn't that like inflating the set's price a little bit too much? In my opinion, it might be a little bit. It's a lot of cool detail, don't get me wrong, but I'm not sure if that's fully necessary for a set like this, you know? Now onto that desert skiff. It is a good craft, possibly the best one we've gotten so far. It has a nice balance between studded and non-studded areas. There is enough studs to have all the minifigs positioned in. You can see it's not very sturdy. I just uh, grabbed it by the nose and those kind of nose pieces that do the right shaping, the really good shaping in fact, uh, the bendy piece, the brown bendy piece is actually making enough tension for these things to pop off if you grab it by those... Uh, kind of curved elements here so be careful on that but the shaping is done right you know I, I really like it just the tension here is is enough to get the studs popped off which is kind of interesting anyway it has the display stand pieces which are which are nice repulsor lift engines uh, making it hover and you can see there is a thing sliding on the other side that's the kind of uh, the pirate style walking bridge that we see in the scene uh, as they make you know the whole scene out of it, the whole drama. It's a kind of like a piece that just slides freely inside the build. It's blocked from the other side, so it won't go through the ship. But it's a function nevertheless. And it's like, I wish there was some form of a locking mechanism for this to not slide away uh, automatically. But I guess that's a function. You can have a minifigure on it and then, you know, do the thing and drop it into the Sarlacc. Anyway, <laughs> that's how it works. This one side of those train barriers opens up as well for recreating the scene and uh, that's pretty cool the controls of the ship is a nice little assembly that's highly detailed with two of those levers and a nice build using some of these skate pieces in tan to recreate a little bit of that control mechanism that's a nice detail right there and kind of the the wings the floppy things or the engines that make the thing fly i guess are using the kind of uh, asian hat elements right here and these can be also rotated a little bit and uh, kind of on this bendy joint that allow you to make it somewhat uh, differentiate the angle of it to make the craft look, look cooler. I'm not sure they moved in the movies, but that's how they look like. And plus we have some of these, um, I guess, engines in the back, complementing or completing the look. So the thing, even if it's small, it is highly detailed, but again, remind you that this is all $80 together with the, the Sarlacc in the background. So both of these plus minifigures, that's, 80 bucks. As we move on from this to the Duel on Peridea, two distinctively different eras of Lego Star Wars, of course, but again, comparably tries to sell the comparable value in terms of location based sets from Star Wars. So this is 80 and the Peridea set is 55 and it might be a better value considering what you're looking for in a set. I will say right off the bat, this set kind of reminds me of the same situation we had with that Obi-Wan set, that real location set that was underwhelming as a location, just a gray slab of bricks. This is kind of the same, to be frank, the top of that location, the location on Peridea, that battle scene was kind of the same very kind of empty and not very detailed these runes were kind of the only detail that look really cool but this set definitely doesn't sell itself on the looks of the display so it's not something you would be so proud to display it does look cool but it's very simplistic right however it is very over engineered in my opinion on the inside to get these angles they had to do quite a few techniques to get this shaping intact not sure if that's a good or bad thing i felt weird building this because i was like it's gonna look so simple why there is so much stuff inside so many weird connectors and bricks and so many weird angles to get it right but in the end i guess that's the effect they were going for so the techniques were kind of required the unfortunate part is that that set has only stickers there is no prints involved all these lines are stickers so maybe the two by four tiles are easy to apply get them right i still think i botched some of them that could have been an easily a print honestly the uh, kind of circle corner pieces were what got me the most these tiles have these curved circle uh, curved corner uh, stickers and they were a pain to get right so i'm not sure what lego was thinking about not having stickers uh, not having prints here instead of these flat tile stickers but that's where we are however i will commend the stickers for the runes or the like celestial orbits uh, around 
the thing on these black stones they are pretty accurate to the scene they look great they are on these kind of like jointed pieces right like so so they can move you can kind of collapse them if you will not sure if that's a function that's intended but they look good and these stickers they have like two combos of stickers on four different stones as such and they present you know the only kind of visual aspect of this set that i particularly like the set has some basic battle functions so you have rotary pieces on both sides to initiate the battle between the parties involved so one here and one on this side as well that's pretty much it this piece also rotates in the middle there is no side knob to it so just like that and there is a piece that's kind of weird it's the, the piece in the back that is a loose sort of set of bricks here it's supposed to launch Ezra and Asok I believe that's in I don't remember fully but it's supposed to launch to the living thrones ship it's supposed to launch the characters so you just do this and I mean the minifig should be facing kind of this way for this to to work according to the scene and then you you launch them and they should go forward but they're not really going forward so that function is a little weird and just i guess there for the accuracy but uh, you know not the biggest fan of it okay but here is possibly the truest value of this set the minifigs the selection is actually very very good i'm not talking even about throne making a return after the phantom set fans will be pleased to see him come back and you know the aftermarket prices of throne were kind of over, all over the place since he was only in the phantom set in the past and now he's back with updated form updated insignia updated uniform uh, two-face expressions which is weird for throne because we don't ever see him angry and he is one well, kind of angry in one of the scenes he's very you know he hides his emotions he's a very calculated commander so not sure why we're seeing him as an angry throne but not only throne is awesome we have updated ahsoka with her metal headband that's awesome two-face expression highly detailed print uh, together with uh, printed arms and her clear lightsabers then morgan elsbeth with her night sister dathomir uh, face prints that is awesome and the uh, blade of Talzin, or uh, did I say that right? I think Blade of Talzin, yes, as this flat uh, lightsaber or saber piece, which was previously used for the dark saber. Then we have Ezra with great print. Uh, the face is good, however, I do feel the eyes are kind of weird. I know he's kind of has these shiny eyes, but these look like he's possessed or something. They more look like, I don't know, Frodo being controlled by Shallow. It's weird. I, I don't think they, they fit him very well, but nevertheless, we got Ezra. And uh, actually, my personal favorite from this set not sure why we have the death trooper uh, sorry not the death trooper night trooper or i call him the zombie trooper the member of the thrones kind of weird night sister dathomir magica controlled army and he does get the zombie head underneath that dilapidated helmet by the way these helmets are awesome with the dual molding just overall incredible print on the minifig with these kind of red bands signifying his allegiance to thrones uh, zombie army if you will good print in the back really good minifig i would love to build to have like a battle pack of these guys from uh, the uh, disney plus content overall i find this set to be more like an overpriced battle pack a good one at that because the selection of minifigs is great but the base you know gives a lot of bricks not much of value in my opinion if you are for the minifigs and 55 dollars is right for you then you might actually enjoy this set quite a lot. So both of these are the new uh, offers from LEGO Star Wars Summer for location-based sets. Not sure again about the value of these, so you let me know in the comment section below what you feel about these. Uh, is Ninamb enough for you to justify getting the Desert Skiff and the Sarlacc for 80? Is the Return of Throne, which was well uh, anticipated for the fans of the Disney Plus series, quite a thing and now he's returning the minifigure form plus some really good versions of other guys and the death trooper uh, sorry night trooper <laughs> keep saying Death trooper night trooper uh, there uh, is this a good thing for this set uh, i'm guess just throne will be sell it in its own way but let me know in the comment section below it was mike thanks so much for watching beyond the brick and stay tuned for more lego star wars and not only reviews in the future see you in the next time